Hi dudes, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I just posted a video yesterday about this sweet 69 Mustang that I traded for. We got it all cleaned up, washed it, cleaned out all the interior and stuff. We still got to do a little vacuuming over there, but uh, for the most part, we got her all cleaned out and uh, secured. I've also got a good buddy of mine, Vincent from Arkansas. He's got a dash he's going to hook me up with. I just got to pay for shipping. So that should be uh, coming in the next day or two. But I just want to start and kind of show y'all some of the parts that this thing came with. For one, it came with this cam kit. I don't know the specifics on it. I haven't looked into it. We still got to clean out the uh, trunk. Get you some of that. We still got to clean out the trunk. But uh, it's a full cam, push rod, lifter set. And there's also a full set of 302 H-beam rods in that box. I'm not going to open it up because I already taped it up yesterday. And... Uh, I'm gonna find out the specifics. I don't know if I'll use it or not. I may just throw that up for sale. It's all still brand new stuff. It came with a few sets of aluminum valve covers like these, nothing special. And then it came with a set of these uh, stamped Urson valve covers, you know, nothing too special. Um, it came with a couple sets of fuel rails, some stock ones and some aftermarket ones. So I really like those aftermarket ones. And then uh, we can get started into the uh, bigger parts. This is a McLeod pressure, pressure plate and clutch for it. And that alone is about 300 bucks for that. It's two different part numbers. This is about $215 and this is about $155. So it's like 350 bucks, something like that. It came with a shifter, BM Quicksilver with all the uh, trim and everything. That's about 350 bucks if you buy it new. It came with this oil pan. This is for a small block Chevy. It fits a 55 to 78 small block Chevy or 55 to 65 Corvettes. And it's all uh, polished aluminum with the ribs and stuff on it. That's like 250 bucks if you buy it new. Um, it came with this set of Wien aluminum valve covers, which will probably be the ones that I run once I get a motor for them. I really like the way these look, especially with the blue. I may change this blue to match this color just for like some little detail. Those need to be cleaned up and stuff, but they're super nice. Um, and I think that's about it for the small parts. Oh, it came with a full set of... 60 over 302 pistons right here that I don't know the brand of them. I can look up that part number probably. They need to be cleaned up a little bit, but those are brand new. Never been ran and with the wrist pins, but the wrist pins are all kind of unusable. They sat outside. And then we'll get into a little bit of the bigger parts. So this box was in there. We loaded it up. I wasn't real sure what was in it. It just had some, you know, unlabeled boxes in here. So I said, huh, I wonder what that is. Let's open it up. And it was a brand new Trick Flow, still wrapped in plastic and still had the Trick Flow stickers in here with all the hardware and everything. Two piece aluminum intake. I mean, literally brand new. It was still wrapped in plastic. It's never even been bolted on anything. It was still sealed up. This is the bottom piece, this is the top piece. That was in there. That's about a $700 intake. So we're getting better. And then it had these, the other ones in the trunk. But this is from a company, I think the company's called Incon or Icon, something like that. But it's a full bolt on twin turbo setup for a 50 Fox body Mustang. So not this body style, it's for the whatever they are, 73 to 93 or some something like that. 77 to 93, something like that body style fox bodies but the used price on this kit so this kit comes with this the other one uh a intercooler you can't really see but it's right there laid out on that table it's got two filters on it and then this box over here has all of the cold side in it all of the piping it's got a bunch of the hoses um and then there's an oil pan and the oil pan is here somewhere i don't remember where we put it but it's somewhere it's got the oil returns. But the used price on this kit that we could find, the only one that we could find online was 3300 for that kit. 
So that kind of puts our value up at what? About five grand so far. Uh, I came with two sets of those Taylor uh, plug wires um, and a whole bunch of just random, random parts. Fuel pressure regulator, uh, anodized blue serpentine belt pulleys. Um, whatever this is, I'm not real sure. Some kind of a cross member. I don't know exactly what that fits or if it's even to this car. I'll have to look and look a little further into it. I don't really know what this is. I think this is a remote oil filter locator that bolts in and replaces. That way you can have a remote oil filter and not have to have it on the bottom of the motor. Um, there's also a tack in here. It's like nothing special. It's like this one that's right here, but it's all chrome, which, you know, I'm not a big chrome guy. But it's got those in there. So we're up to probably five grand, right? With all the little parts and accessories. But this right here is the main piece of the puzzle that I wanted to talk to you about. This dude right here, you'll notice this Viper right here. We didn't know anything about it. See, it says Borg Warner Automotive right there. We weren't sure what this was, but then you'll see right here, it says D&D &D Performance. So this is from everything that we can find online and maybe y'all will know a little more than me about it, but from everything that we can find online, this is a T56 from a Viper. It's the T56 that they put in the Dodge Vipers back, I don't know specifically what years, but D&D Performance and Tremec is what I've read online partnered up and they made these a direct bolt in for a Ford or for a Fox body or whatever to fit on a small block Ford pattern, uh, bell housing pattern. So they say these are rated for like 550 torque and like 700 horsepower. I'm sure you can go up a little bit above that. I don't know, but it looks to be rebuilt or at least fresh. They had this on there, wrote no fluid on it. So nobody put any, put it in something without the fluid, but the price on these are about 3,500 bucks and used. They're like 2,500 to three grand. If you can find them, they're hard to find. So all I have to do is buy a long block with a good set of heads on it. And then I'll run that intake. I'll run those fuel rails with the, all the fuel injectors. Oh yeah, that's something else we got. We got two sets of fuel injectors inside that box there too. Two brand new sets of big fuel injectors. The turbo kit, um, it's already got exhaust hanging under the car with Flowmasters and stuff on it that I'm sure I can repurpose and reuse. And this transmission and I will have a twin turbo six speed small block ford 69 mustang i don't know how much power it'll have i'm not trying to make you know a race car make a thousand horsepower or anything i just want something to be a fun little street car and the best part of all of it is i had a motorcycle that was worth about five grand i listed it and i traded it for two-door tahoe and i had the two-door tahoe for a little while i found some stuff that was wrong with it and uh it ran and drove it was worth a little more than a motorcycle. I listed it for 65. I probably would have taken 6,000 for it. And somebody traded me this Mustang that has decent paint. I mean, it's an old paint job and it's got its wear marks and different stuff going on with it, but decent paint, decent interior that needs to be touched up some, plus about $8,000 worth of parts, plus some parts that I can sell that I don't need. Uh, extra parts that I can sell that I don't need. So he said he paid 10 for all this stuff, but he didn't know what all he had. He didn't know a lot about it. And he'd swapped me even for a Tahoe that I had listed for 6,500. So I don't think I came out too bad on the deal. Um, all I've done so far is just get it cleaned up. I kind of been looking for a motor. I'm just gonna take a stock fuel injected. I'd like to have a 96 model Explorer motor because we've got the GT40 heads and not the GT40Ps because I think the intake and stuff is for G240 heads and earlier. And uh, I just got it cleaned up and kind of seeing what I want to do with it. So once I get started actually working on this thing, I'm going to start posting regular series because I really do want to get this thing going pretty quick so that I can drive it. And I don't know if I'll keep it. I don't know if we'll sell it and try to find a future project. One of my dream cars is a 54 Chevy two door and uh Maybe I can turn this into that. That'd be dope. But whatever we do, we'll film it. We'll post it. 
we'll let y'all follow along and uh, as always like subscribe follow whatever you got to do to keep up with the future videos i'm on my way to a thousand we're at like 322 or something so last time i really was talking about that i was at like 270 so i've got like 50 more we're growing uh, i've been posting a lot of shorts and, uh, just let me know what you want to see well and i'm open to do whatever uh, I still want to do a video breakdown on the Ford. I've been posting shorts. I think people like to see that. It's a 2016 F-150 Lariat. It's got a SCT live wire tuner with an E85 custom tune on it. Uh, it's got a K&N cold air intake and three inch exhaust. So it gets down pretty good. Uh, the tuner that I've got does zero to 60 and quarter mile time. So maybe I can do like a stock comparison versus the E85 and see how that does i've still got my stock intake and stuff so maybe i'll change it all back to the stock intake put it back stock run it quarter mile and zero to 60 and then put the e85 tune on it and put the k and n intake back on it and see how much time i picked up and how much power we made but other than that follow along we'll be around thanks for watching